uh, it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a rival game. That we got a new coach. They got a new coach. Both teams uh, kind of close in, in record. We kind of knew it would come down to this. Uh, this I think this game determines if they get a bowl game berth, things like that. We played them last year. It was tight. It means a lot. And this rivalry is big. You could tell just from the, you could tell just from the practice today how how intense everybody is and how intense the coaches is. It's about the rivalry. And we knew even if we won last game, we knew how important this game was for us. It's coming for a rivalry and just how important it is for the university. And then for them, they're gonna play hard. They're gonna give us their best, like that, like they always do. And then they got a bowl game, like DK said. But we're just out there trying to win two games, man, and do it. Got, they got a lot of weapons, I can say that. And J.J. Taylor, Khalil Tate, and they got, got weapons on the outside that I know of, like Cooper and they, uh, Pondexter. They got many weapons they could do, and they run different things with them. And we just got to focus in and <coughs> attack them how we do. Do your classmates think equally when you walk in class or in class or like the age of the I got mostly online classes. <laughs> I got I got all online classes. Yeah. So now, nah, but I do see it on social media and everything like that. People do say like, man, this is the game. I saw it right after the Oregon game, even though I was still mad about it. But I saw the fans already saying, get over it already. I'm like, man, already. They saying, get over it, man. We gotta beat Arizona. But I know how important this game is, man. I'm gonna give my all for the fans. Uh, most definitely, you know what I'm saying? Because something like that is, is amplified in a in game like that. And it was how close it was, and we knew it was a rival game. So a pick versus, a, you know, just a Pac-12 team versus your rival game, it's going to be more amplified for sure. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Man, it's, it's just me coming from a fan perspective, loving the game. You know what I'm saying? It's not painful. It's just like it was just crazy. That was the craziest game I've ever seen. So Mahomes, I was, man. Yeah, <laughs> I was more so excited. Like it was, it was wild, man. I've seen a lot of stuff I've never seen before. So the best game I ever seen. Too. Yeah, I say so. <clears throat> yeah. Man, I felt it today. I just just knowing how close we was from two games and knowing and knowing that Utah got it just because we lost and how close we was, like Darby with the catch and everything like that. I've been seeing that all day, but I've been we lost, man. But uh, just trying to move on from it hurts. But this game is way. This game is important, man. It's a rivalry game, so we got to move on and get on and get this win and then bowl game win and we'd be eight and five. Win two, <laughs> yeah. Win this one. Win, win whatever I come after that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if if it if it comes to that, I for sure would be interested in something like that. You know, some like like Herm did. You know, I'd be interested in something like that. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, a lot of things. Coach Bachi came in today in our team meeting and talked about the history and everything. He went deep all the way back from when he went to school. I never knew things about it like that, and um, it just talks about how important this rivalry is. And it's, I know it's the oldest, the oldest thing, the Territory Cup. I didn't know about that, but uh, yeah, this is a deep rivalry, man. It's one of the biggest rivalries out there. We just trying to put on for it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just crazy because, like, it's way deeper than football. And I know people say that, but I really didn't realize that they really told us a story back to Arizona College or whatever. So it's, it's really crazy.
<clears throat> uh, I just added to like like in my game today. I probably I just added. I just stayed on my receiver even after the play, even after the play was going on, just getting ready for scramble drills and all that type of stuff. Cause I, I seen that on film a lot, getting ready for scramble drill, and that's what that's a lot of that touchdown passes come from. Tay getting out the pocket and the receivers really just taking off. So mm -hmm. that was the main thing Coach G talked about today, just staying on your man and he worked with it. And you could tell we ended practice with him, even grabbing the ball, running around, having fun. Mm -hmm. It's just, just, it's real serious. It's just, you know, scramble drill is going to be important in this game and we got to contain the quarterback. Passing game, man. It's like they got athletes just like Oregon, but uh, coach just talked about all the athletes they got, just like SC and everything. It just it, they do so many different things with them. And I play versus Tate. I play versus JJ in high school. Play I play with Tate and Pop Warner, All Star team. So I know these guys, and they, they do is athletic. So we gotta come with it. <laughs> yeah, I talk to him. I talk to him a lot. I know I know many of them. Tate. AJ Taylor and uh, Cooper, number seven. Me and Cooper have been talking. Like, we finally get our matchup. Yeah, but it's going to be good. I'll talk to Tate after the game, not before the game, though. No. <laughs> um, you know, you got to be disciplined. You got to set the tempo. You know, I, I think a lot of teams pre preach uh, gap discipline, but we just preach, you know, being physical and making them try to react to us. You know, that's that's how we that's how we go, that's how we gonna stop any running team, you know what I mean? And he hits the hole fast, he gets out loose fast, he make you miss and he'll put his helmet on you. So as long as you don't let him get fifteen yards of space to do so, you put it on him quick, you know, it, sh it slows a lot of that down. You're one of the captains. What, what, what role does a Maybe not above, but I mean, I I just keep people going, keep people rally. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm I'm playing or not, you know what I mean? Because obviously last year I wasn't, but you got to keep guys locked in, keep guys engaged. We got one of the youngest teams probably in the country, so these guys got to understand the the importance of this game and you know how how big it's gonna be. But at the end of the day, we're just playing football. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to get too big. <clears throat> I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? I, we don't, like up here, we don't do that, that freshman excuse stuff. You know, when you play, you play like a senior, you a starter when you step on the field. So I, I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? Um, I know when I was a freshman, I would have loved to do what they are doing. So I know they love it. They enjoy what they're doing. But, you know, we, we embrace it. We don't, we don't shy away from it. We don't get scared because somebody's a freshman or they first time playing or whatever the case may be. Everybody, you know, we hold guys to a certain standard here. Our freshmen got a lot of confidence too, though, man. They come in a lot of confidence. <coughs> but I just remind them. I tell Shar, I tell Maryland, I tell all of them, just another game. Just come out here. They're going to hype the game up, everything. But it's just, it's just another game. Since since high school, man, you just play hard. You just play the game you love. Exactly. And go out there and play. What was the feeling like last year when you were in this game? You know, you're going It felt great, man. It was really exciting. I know for me, especially, I know I, I had a, a big game that game. I know Kobe did too, but it felt great. You know what I'm saying? Just felt relief. We had went through a lot that season, um, ups and downs and stuff like that. And and they were on top of us, you know. I, I think at half, whatever the case may be, they returned that punt. They called it back, and I think from there, like we just we kept it going. But it felt great, man. It felt like a probably one of the greatest like feelings after a victory for me personally. Oh, if, man, if, probably even more. Taking some from somebody house, ain't nothing feel better than that. Happy birthday to Kobe last Friday. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>